Hello, this is Will with Hook and Push Strength. Happy New Year, happy holidays. I was out traveling with my family and sprained my ankle hiking in Arizona, but I have been able to train the last couple days. It's allowed me to, so I'm gonna give this a go. Today I was thinking about revisiting one of my earlier videos, the uh, Jeff Newpert Strong Enough Strength Standards on the clean and press the double 32s because I got a few comments about you know not pausing after the cleans I thought my lockouts were okay but maybe spending more time on the lockout just generally just generally slowing down so I think I'm going to give that a go see if I can hit this again with better form and got my timer ready and let's do this. A little better. I first pressed my bend a little fast, but I think I did good. Pause, lockout, pause. So that only added a couple seconds overall. So I think this should be doable. Yeah, what I was saying earlier, really my ankle is I think one of the great things about kettlebell training is that you can do athletic explosive movement while working around an injury because any sprinting or any plyometrics would be completely out of the question right now. But this, for example, was doing some snatches a couple days ago and that felt totally fine on my ankle and I'm still already, I'm breathing kind of heavy, heart rate's up, sweating a little bit. And yeah, so this is good stuff. This is very good stuff. <clears throat> so set one's down. Remember to slow down the press. I mean, hold the lockout a little longer. And I think pausing between cleans is has been good. It's good stuff. Hope everybody had a good holidays. I did overall. Here we go. Five squat. Right, that one felt pretty solid, but you know, also pretty demanding. I'm gonna grab a towel. I always forget to grab a towel. Yep. All right. Yeah. And again, still got about when I put it down. Still got about a minute thirty-five left on the clock. Think, yeah, I think that's only adding about five seconds of total work. Of course, it feels a lot longer than that, but it's, yeah, it's good stuff. Good, good stuff. Hmm. All right, that's two sets down, a fifth of the way there. Yeah, I mean, it, this does feel more honest. I suppose that it's not just a wow. It's like a, I like being explosive and athletic like that, but this does feel more like a strength movement this way than a just athletic throw the weights around thing. So yeah, I'm glad I'm trying it this way too. 
Maybe I can include both of them in my training in different ways. Here we go, set number three. We'll say I'm kind of losing count a little easier with it being slowed down that much in my mind because I'm like wait is this one or two <laughs> okay about a third of the way there pretty good pretty pretty good Whew. yeah Yeah, the cleans feel good too. I, I've got a couple comments on that, but my forearms feel fine, my shoulders feel fine. If, if anything, I've had to work on my form on my cleans and snatches quite a bit to not tear my hands. So I've definitely thought about this stuff, believe me. And then these are 32s, they're heavy, they're a significant percentage of my body weight, and I'm I weigh way, well over 300 pounds, so 140s, what's that, 40 something percent? So, yeah, I, I can only do so much to really control that, I think, but maybe I'm just making excuses. Anyway, I feel great. felt solid. I felt really solid. Huh. Yeah, no, I'm really loving the kettlebell subreddit. People are really getting after it over there. And you guys have inspired me a lot. I mean, that's kind of gotten this whole thing going was that ground to overhead anyhow challenge last month last year has kind of gotten me on this kick and it's been really awesome so shout out to those fine folks and you guys are really rocking it and hope maybe I'm inspiring some other people on there and on the YouTube here as well so yeah that was set number four, 40% done. It's going great. I don't know if you can hear it, but my interval timer is saying that for squats, because it's the same, you know, 10 sets in 20 minutes. So I just reused that timer. It's saying squat, but I'm doing clean and press. So maybe that's just for me, but if you guys are hearing that and confu are confused, that's what that's about. All right. halfway pretty cool all right halfway feeling good definitely more challenging but feels good we're getting there we are definitely getting there let's see is this better lighting or is this 
lighting better. Oh yeah, that's way better. Sorry about that. Alright. Yeah, it's a pretty low budget production right now. I'm just doing this on my iPad. Maybe if this takes off and turns into something, I'll upgrade. But for now, this is good enough for the likes of Reddit and YouTube. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, that's feeling pretty real. <laughs> All right, 60% of the way there. Man. Yeah, no, still feeling like I'm moving well, it's just, bit more challenging. But yeah, let me know in the comments what else you would like to see me do on this channel with kettlebells or heavy club or maybe some dumbbell stuff. This is pretty much my training space, what you're looking at, so not exactly totally blessed with a lot of great training space or equipment, but I'm getting after it. I'm doing, I'm proud of the work I'm doing, so I feel like you can get a lot done with a couple kettlebells and a little bit of space, so it's pretty cool. Hmm. Right. <laughs> 70% done. Oh man. Whew. Yeah, this is a this is a real challenge, folks. Gotta say. Yeah, the squats really weren't too bad, but this is this is real challenging and I think the snatches might be doable. I just did 100, 105 minutes with a 26 kilo bell a couple days ago and it was doable, it was hard. I only had like three seconds to spare, but that was five minutes. And the standard that Jeff threw down was 10. So I think I should be able to manage that just every minute do do 10 snatches that should be okay yeah I might try keep to keep doing it in five and see how far that gets me and then just take what time I can get once it comes up to 32s yeah because I think for somebody my size I need to be able to do 28 in five minutes for the 
RKC standard, so I'm going to see if I can hit that, but otherwise. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I think I've said this in previous videos that I do recognize that my rack position needs work. But, and this is a good reminder of that. Probably about as good as a reminder as anyone can get. But, Yeah, if I get more into the kettlebell sport thing, I'll probably hire a coach to really nail that down for me. Because I, I just, I feel like a pretty wide person, so I can't really get this really tight thing in the front without kind of caving, caving into my upper back. So maybe this is enough, but it feels pretty solid to me, but... I'm not a coach, I don't have certifications or anything, I'm just a guy in his living room th throwing around kettlebells, so. <sighs> but this is a good reminder, this is a good challenge. So those of you that did sort of call out my form as being a little dicey, I appreciate you, I really do. <sighs> you got two more sets of this. And I've done it, hopefully, for real. Five squat. Oh, yeah, that was tough. I got one more in me though. I, I believe I do. <sighs> yeah. So that's uh, pumping my forearms a bit too. I don't often feel a lot of that from cleans, so I must be squeezing down pretty hard in my rack position. <sighs> one more. Just give me one more. That's all, I, all I'm asking. All right, last set, best set, come on. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that'll do it with about a minute and 25 seconds to spare. <laughs> yeah, I really slowed that one down. 
Not to prove a point, but because it was actually pretty hard. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was that. Hopefully, no more asterisk. And I really am two thirds of the way done with the Jeff Newport strong enough strength standards. Snatch is coming up. Maybe not tomorrow, but soon. And yeah, this has been Will with Hook and Push Strength. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.